Gaslighter. Gas I said this four minutes ago, and then you're like. Evening everyone. If you're enjoying the screen, please keep tapping. If you're enjoying the screen. If you're enjoying the stream, please keep tapping the screen. Well, hold on. It weren't like that, but it was like that. This, this is what you're basically saying. We had an argument the other day. We didn't argue. Me and Brooklyn did not this argue. We I had a conversation. This is what I just said to you. Why are you bringing this up when you know I'm on live? You're such a I dick. didn't know you was on live. You, put your phone you know I'm on live. You know you I'm on live. He's making out like I'm a bad mum. And look, this is exactly he's why a, I say a he's a mom. narcissist. You're making he's up a stuff fucking in your narcissist. Head. But the thing is, right, if you are always calling your partner a narcissist, why would you stay with your partner? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I like, it's very easy looking in to tell people what they should do in a fucking situation. And it's not like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's difficult. But people hate each other like this I don't understand why they would fucking be together well love well maybe I don't know I'm very black and white though but that just might be the way of my brain processing stuff you know for what for what? Why? On the FYP for what? Because you're twisting shit. Because you, you know for a fact I'm still on... Yeah, but gaslighting is true. Like, gaslighting is not just a phrase people made up. Gaslighting is is uh, invalidating people's feelings and making them out to be the problem. Without context, you don't know what that's happening. Like, if somebody was to be standing here with me and they just went, oh my God, I can't believe that you did this the other day. Da -da 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 -da. There's no evidence that that happened. But you's watching it are going to be like, oh my god, like that's fucking horrifying. Whatever was said because it's a, it's something that is going to upset and stuff. Doesn't mean it actually happened when they're denying that it happened in the first place. You know what I mean? It's two two people, one saying one thing, one saying the other. This shit shouldn't be on TikTok, be on the fucking Jeremy Kyle show, or in actual fa family court or something like that on my life and you know for a fact the words that come out of your yeah. mouth are going to cause me damage and you know for a fact that it's going to cause me shit. yeah but is this stuff fake or is it true it's fucking fake hmm it keeps looping the videos as well this new thing um she could have turned it off but you don't know whether she kept it running because she felt scared and then she had a recording and it would possibly potentially stop things from lifting up you know <clears throat> who knows who knows she admitted the kid said it well that's fucking Jesus Christ fuck me that's something that she massively needs I'm not defending her <laughs> I'm not defending her I'm just giving my opinion on what I'm saying there's no evidence that it happened everyone's going to be shocked and upset and as I said earlier if it's true it's fucking horrible but like you know this shit man who are we to who are we to say when we're not involved in the situation? I just don't know. It's just sad. If that's fucking true, that's really sad. That was really fucking sad. Oh. Oh, my fucking God. My God, you two. No, she isn't Marshy. No. Whose dogs do this shit? Merlin's like this. As soon as there's someone I act straight into it. <laughs> the kids say it all the time. That's horrendous. <laughs> Get out of there! Get out of there! Dumpling, get out of there! Are you kidding me right now? Merlin does this all the fucking time. All of the fucking time. Duncan! Duncan! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna get her in the car? What are we gonna do? <laughs> the dog lives there now. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, there is. Oh! I love that. Thank you. I like that you guys tag me in this stuff. It breaks up the drama. Keep tapping that screen, you legends. Let's get 100k again today. Do you know what I'm kissing on dead bodies, stealing from the dead, prevent... Oh, this is... Um, yeah, they're, they're going to talk about something here that I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> so, which is quite... <laughs> when, when you read the title, I thought, well... I'll, I'll, try not to, I'll try not to, you know... Or things that enough. happen, thank you, Leah. You know, we have certain rules in Liverpool that other cities don't have, like we don't buy the sun newspaper. Like, if you enter Liverpool, you have to visit the Beatles Museum before you can get a Liverpoolian passport. I believe that's what she's talking about. Um, that's right, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the rules.
We call it the scum, you know, because they reported falsely on hills, brown painted the scousers into pissing on dead bodies, stealing from the dead, preventing ambulances from getting to the victims. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Isn't Chelsea, evil queen, been in the sun for a derogatory way? You see, I think I would listen more. I mean, she's probably right, to be fair. She doesn't fucking usually lie about this sort of shit, but, like, she's also been in the sun, yeah? And from the, it's true, no sudden newspapers here. When did that happen? When is that? When was that? Was that in the eighties or something or the nineties? I really need to fucking educate myself about this particular thing. Was it? Um, I don't think I can say it on here. Was it the rare thing? Pew, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna Google it. What is the Hillsborough disaster? Fatal crowd crush that occurred during an FA Cup semi-final match um, on April 15, 1989. A crush developed in the Leapings Lane stand, which was allocated to Liverpool supporters. Police opened an exit gate to relieve congestion, but this led to more supporters entering the pens and overcrowding. 97 people died and 766 were injured in the aftermath the disaster was a turning point for crowd management and sports ground safety in the UK it led to the introduction of the football licensing authority which is now known as the sports grounds safety um, there is a memorial at Hillsborough Stadium to commemorate so the Sun newspaper said that basically just blamed it on the Liverpoolian fans totally fucking hell man Jesus Christ. I'll have to watch like a documentary about it. So that's disgusting, man. No wonder you don't fucking watch this. Um, watch, read the sun. No wonder. Yeah, fuck them. Like literally, if you go to Liverpool, if I was to go in like a news agent and stuff, I wouldn't find like the sun being sold anywhere. One second. The sun, Hillsborough, Liverpool. According to Wikipedia, coverage of the Hillsborough disaster by the British tabloid, the sun led to the newspaper's decline in Liverpool and the broader Merseyside region, with organised boycotts against it. The disaster occurred at a football match between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. Well, there you go. Why did Liverpool boycott the sun? The boycott of the sun began after the newspaper published an article on the 19th of April 1989, which was titled The Truth. The article made false and damning claims about behaviour of supporters during and after the disaster, which claimed the lives of 97 Liverpool fans. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, fuck the sun. F the sun. Absolutely. Fuck me. So, yeah, Angie, you know, you could have just Googled it like me. I've just educated myself a little bit. Obviously, there's a lot more to look into it. So if I came on and said anything bad about that, the whole of Liverpool would be on the doorstep. Yeah, and? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Angie, the wine, all right, and your, like, mates that hang around in the box. They ain't going to, like, line up for you like fucking gladiator and fight the whole of Liverpool. Like, are you absolutely mental? She's just like, and Liverpool's going to come for me. I'll have Liverpool. I'll take Liverpool. Give us three bottles of red wine. <laughs> Fucking hell. What an absolute dickhead. Hillsborough disaster. Uh, well, what about their reporting on the Hillsborough, right? So, what? So they're saying it's a false report. That it didn't happen? They stopped her. Oh, they're saying that the scouts stopped help going through. But what if they did? Maybe they did. Maybe there was some that did. Do you see, all she is is a rage bait. That's all she does. She's saying things to piss you guys off so that everyone will go in the box and start talking about it. Everybody will start arguing about it and everything. In reality, Angie does not care about your feelings. She does not care about these events. She doesn't care what happened to people in disasters like that. She doesn't care about anybody. She doesn't even care about people 
she claims to be friends with, she fucking throws them under the bus immediately. She doesn't care. She will use something like the deaths of 97 people to get more views in a TikTok live stream. That's what she'll fucking do. And that's what she always fucking does. That's what she always fucking does. She rage baits. People go in and fucking fall for it all of the fucking time. That's all she wants, a reaction. She does not care about you, your feelings, or the feelings of anybody involved in whatever she's speaking about. Never has, never fucking will. How do you know? Were you weapon. offended because you're scale so because you're from Liverpool? But yet maybe there were a few people that had stopped people from getting through. Yeah, how do you know? Oh, stop. This is your, your arguments with the sun, not me. Do you know what I mean? All I'm saying is, how do you know that didn't happen? You know, people are so offended because they get so offended. This is, you know, this is who I am. This is where I, I live. You're offending me, but how... Justice for the 96. I was offending you when... when what was it, 96? I thought it was 97, sorry. The newspaper reporting that, you know, maybe there were a couple... That oh, it is 97. That ...had done that. That's not a representation... Rep, rep, representation... Representation... Wait, I'm going to get that... Yeah, that's right. Of, of Liverpool. That's just a cut, you know... Nasty, nasty scumbags, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You, then. You're a fucking nasty scumbag. Does it make sense what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know the whole situation. I'm just saying, maybe... 96 and 97 as one died a year on. Right, OK. The, why would the report of the Sun report fake news? Who the fuck hears what she says and goes, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, honestly, fucking who the hell thinks this fucker speaks facts on anything? Honestly. You've got receipts, haven't you, Angie? Fuck off. This looks cute, but also looks like it would bite you. I don't know. Well, and if you're into that, my uh, box is not. No. I don't. Well, I don't know whether that was a fish, an octopus, or a bloody ninja turtle, and I don't know why it's so <laughs> happy to see me because I'm not happy to see you. Can you well, that's rude. Can you imagine floating around in the water and then some some smiley weirdo just pops up to you out of nowhere? No. I appreciate that you might have just got your teeth done, but I'm not interested in it. It did have turkey teeth, like. It definitely had turkey teeth. This is what I mean. Even if that is AI or not, what's it doing in the bloody ocean? And why does it look like Donatello <laughs> from Ninja Turtles? <laughs> and if you want to ask why my face is red, because I've got anxiety watching from that, and it's a little bit windy. It's fucking raging. Outside, my bin's doing the Olympics and doing double backflips out the front, Sharon. I don't even know where my recycling's gone. Everyone's going to think I'm littering and I'm not. I'm this video has escalated. There are many chapters. Watching blow up fishes that should have been in Finding Nemo, but they weren't. They were trying to find me with your little weird smiley face, you creep. I don't want your number. I feel like he's talking about me now. I feel a bit like. Leave me alone. See these stupid fishes in the ocean. I've just had enough of this whole bloody internet thing. I can't blame him. It does look like it's had turkey teeth. I'm not going to lie. Is this AI? Is this fucking AI? I don't know. The top comment says, isn't that alpha bar? Fuck me. Honestly, people are brutal. My boy, I'm you why are you bastards? You are a sweet as candy. You're my sugar dandy. Welcome, my boy, lollipop. You'll never, never leave me. Who the fuck put it to this song? Because it would grieve me. My heart told me so. My God, you evil bastards. What's you got me? Pregnancy strips. I'm not pregnant. So not yet. Oh, hang on a minute. That sounded like I had plans. No, I'm not offering. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, no. I've <laughs> Shit. I put me fun in it again. Look. No. Okay. No. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Sweetheart. Oh, God damn it. A five bullets. What the hell is that, sweetheart? 
Well, to get your start, now it just sounds like I'm talking about me and her now. It's a bit fucking awkward, isn't it? Look, all I'm saying is it's going to take me a while to get from Sunderland to London. Start yourself off, all right? I've got work in the morning. Got teeth, bro. Oh, God. Teeth, and, teeth. um, vaginal... Yeah, yeah, clean your teeth first. Infection. Self-test to identify common vaginal... You basically, if you could do the test first, let me know the results. <laughs> yes, Coral. Well, we can do a test if you want, with the vagina. These come in handy, darling. This is great. It's like having a first aid kit. Who's this? First aid kit for your fanny. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. I mean, what's that? Wow. What have we got here? Oh my god, they're still coming! <laughs> Somebody buy us some kitchen doors, please. Hello, brother. Thank you. Uh, 9020. Thank you. Kimmy, darling. What is this, sweetheart? We don't have pistachios, milk cake. We tried to call you, but. You yeah, she got irritated, didn't she? You did not. Pick up. They don't have pistachio cake, you bit. Oh my god, someone's got me a cake! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, it's a bear! Oh. oh, why is it on its front? Why is it presenting? Do you have to eat its... Toss its... Anybody like salad? I... Oh my gosh, look how cute I can't watch this shit, any I cannot. It's not right, it's this not is... right. Oh my god, look how cute! I couldn't eat it, you know. Get hair in my teeth. Oh my god, look how cute this is! Oh, this is back. Who's got me this one? We don't, we don't. Oh my god, look how cute! Oh, this is back, cute, man. Oh, this is so. Is she, is she still getting them now? She's still getting them now. Oh, so cute! The apple's from me! Oh my god, berry tails! Thank you, darling! What's she got me? Yeah, at least she's given some stuff to the food banks and stuff. Oh, I've seen that. This is kind of mental. When is this from? She seemed like she was singing well then, though. Like she sings like shit now, but that sounds like that sounded all right. I mean, the person acting alongside her looks absolutely bewildered with what's going on. That sounded like really good control and stuff, which is kind of mental. But yeah, that's kind of mental if that's legit. I'm getting the witch hat from the movie made for me as well. So I'm getting a custom made alphabet hat, but the movie version. Good for you. Can I just jump in? Oh, it's this dude and point something out that is quite important from a trans person's stance. Speaking from experience, and I hope this makes sense because I was thinking how to word it. As a trans person, transitioning is a priority. And if you don't prioritise it, you're not only setting back your actual transition, but you're... Oh, but you say... I, I really like this guy, but you really can't tell people when and where they should be transitioning. It's not like... And I know that, you know... Maybe, he, well, he obviously does have more authority to speak about it, being part of that community. But me personally, I don't believe that you should force somebody's, you know, like a timeline on people. Do you know what I mean? But... but you're not giving it the care that it needs. I'm extremely aware that this person is not trans, but he wants everyone to believe that he is. And not only not making any conscious... The reason why they judge Alpha Bar on it is because, allegedly, because I haven't seen any videos, um, Alpha Bar, when she first came on the app, said that she was going to use her gifting money for transitioning and then never has. 
But even then, she's not telling you she's going to do it by next Thursday, is she? She's saying that was her attention. Effort to become his desired role, but also not prioritising any sort of transition. That's all good and well, but don't then scream at people for not accepting what you are stating that you are when you can't even prioritise it yourself. You have had ample amount of money to spend on your transition to the point where you would more than likely be done by now. I mean, it was given to you that you pleaded for, for your transition, may I add. You have that much of an unhealthy obsession. That Everyone always says that, but nobody ever shows the clip of it. Right? You spend that money on things like this. A witch's hat, of all things. The point is, is that if you want people to even attempt to take you seriously, then you might want to prioritise that transition that you speak so fondly of. No transformation means no transition. No transition means not transgender. And if you're not transgender, that means you can't call people transphobic. Boo who? Uh, well... Do you know what I mean? People are going to have different opinions, aren't they, really? It's that simple. We will have all the way. No one tells me Oh, here we go. Corey reacts to clips of Angie, spills some tea that she told him in private and plays a voice note. Oh, honestly, I could have never seen this coming. What to do? I drink it any time I want until I uh, drink. Yeah, so once again, guys, oh, yeah, don't be just a warrior and you've got so much to say, so many threats to say between me and my mum. Send, send me your address, see how you like. Oh, yeah, she goes now, she thinks she's fucking Sam Walker. Like it, yeah? Yeah. And she never leaves her fucking bedroom. <laughs> I've seen her leave her bedroom, like, three times. Once was to get pissed with Rickster, and once was to go to book a GP appointment that she never attended. So, psh, yeah. like... Mm. So do that, yeah? I think We're going to do Angie, right. three empty bottles of them. That's the only threat that you can give, because I bet that room is covered in them. If you could have children... You're right, Nikki, there isn't. You are 100% right. These people having loyalties to people they've never fucking met is mental. Like, I don't understand how people believe that they are friends. You know what I mean? Oh, she went to the shop two days ago to buy wine. Oh, well, that was a fucking hell. Desperate times for Angie. You could have an elderly parent living with you. But I'm not going to give a fuck just like you don't. So... Can you imagine this old lady... That you were kissing up to, like, what, like a week ago? Wobbling down the street to do what? Put it in the Thank you for the heart maze and everything, guys. The DM. And what are you going to do when you get it? No. 7.30pm. 7 7 there, exactly. That's one bit of a drink. Uh, no, uh, this is where I live. This I own half the house, love. She doesn't own half the house. This bit doesn't surprise me. So her mother, her mother owns the property because her father passed away. So her mother owns the property. and People do this all the time. They have like things in the will where it says that, the, you know, if I pass away, I want to ensure that so-and-so always has a place to live. So like it becomes stuff like that. Like you, you will have the deed to the house, but you need to ensure that this person has a place to live. And I think that's what the the deal is there till her mother passes away angie does not own that property the father may have put in the will that the house is split up between between the go. sisters which is angie and her sister but obviously if the mother don't pass away which by the sound of it don't worry searcher and guys keep tapping up that screen if you enjoyed the reactions hit a follow as well and she's going out to bingo going out to all hours of the night she ain't going anywhere anytime soon so you don't own half the house, Angie. You're staying there because your mother can't get rid of you. Thank you, Amy, for subscribing. Maybe you need to get your... Uh, also, guys, the pinned comment, that's my other account. Make sure you're following it. It's where I post most of my awareness content and other bits and bobs. That's correct. I know I'm correct because you told me that too. Or do I need Thank to you. put up the screenshot? Give Yeehaw. me permission, Angela. I don't give two shits. Do you, do you want to... Um, do you have something to say? Do you want to DM me? She said, I've got to throw you under the bus. The stewards on a, on a WhatsApp call. She said, I had to go against you. She said, I'm scared the Sam... I had to go against you. Sam's going to come Imagine. after me because of the stuff that I said about him. I said, listen, Angie, you do whatever you want for your fucking platform, but you keep out of my way. And I ended the call and blocked her. 
and then an hour later, she messaged me on a WhatsApp then. Sorry, I blocked her on normal call, and then um, she messaged me on WhatsApp, asking me to unblock her. She said, can you unblock me so I can send you a nice gift? After she just gifted Sam, mind. Oh, for fuck's sake, Corey, unblock me so I can just send you a gift. For fuck's sake. Listen to this. I've had you back, for God's sake, unblock me immediately, I'm gonna send you a nice gift. That would be called love bombing and manipulation, so you think a relationship revolves around money. And let's face it, if she's sending any gifts, it's because it's her gift balance. She's just exchanging coins from the gifts that the mugs are sending her. Like, it's ridiculous. Stick your gifts by the sun, don't shine. Other than all of you in here, can you please send your heartbeats and your team bracelets, please? Thank you. That was a bit cheeky at the end. That's a bit cheeky. It's all embarrassing. Like I said earlier on, I am 100% I'm going to try and do this for you. Eye contact is not my best, right? I'm trying, I'm looking at the camera. Is that eye contact? Might still be a bit weird. I am truly shocked that Angie and Corey have fell out. I've never seen that coming. I never, I, I, I just thought both were very loyal people and I never thought we'd see this day. Was that, was that good? Was the eye contact good? I don't know if the eye contact was good. It probably wasn't very good, was it? And I'm trying. I'm trying. I mean, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Like, they're slower. <laughs> they're slower to get him round to what we knew was going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Than anything else. I know. I know, Nikki. I know, right? <laughs> oh, we... Ha! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I've got... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not, I'm gonna, can, can I try that one? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I like Darren, I like Darren, but why is he fucking being Dr. Evil? Why is he... <laughs> one million dollars. I, I, like, I don't know what's happening here, Darren. Please don't come for me, please. Oh, he's God, offending my dog, and he can't offend my dog, because if he offends my dog, he's offending me. Well, I've just told everyone the truth about you. Is that offending you? I fucking know it is. You've had your crutes in here trying to shut me down, haven't you? You fucking hell. What's a crout? I'm learning new words all the time. I need Urban Dictionary up. Urban Dictionary, crout. The only crout I know is croutons. This can't be right. Croots are boots made by Crocs. They're a combination of Crocs and boots. You can't be sending people round in Crocs. Like, that does... <laughs> I, I don't think this is right. I'm, I'm not... I don't think... See, I'm not making it up. Uh, maybe there's something else. Uh, when you think you are merely going to toot, but you crap. <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty fucking horrendous. Don't send them round. Christ. Um... Uh, a chicken ranch out of town. They were all great Ackermans. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I was right with that one. I, I don't think that's what they're talking about. Helmets. Not everyone's fucking... All recruits. Fucking hell, Jesus. Soft, lad. Not everyone's soft like you. You know, some people... Sorry, but I've tried and ED is a serious condition. All right. People are sitting there just thinking, what a fucking fraud that this kid is. But, you know, fuck it. Just let them do it. If they're soft enough to buy it, let them fucking buy it. That's what people are doing with all you... Just thumb it in if it's soft. Just thumb it in and try your best. Fucking weirdos that watch him. Oh, you only started following him because of, cause of, cause of the dog. You give him two ton. It's been 12 weeks. Soft cunts. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? I don't know why Darren's so upset here. I really Dog's don't. not even in the pitch, you know, which he knew wouldn't be. But you're still there like that. He's just inventing new stories. Watch his side in this. I do like that fucking picture on the wall. I know that's not what we're here about. And he's got a very organised office, Darren. Fair play. His chair looks very comfortable. He's got a little white board with his little magnets on and that. It's pretty organised. Now, be oh, they hate each other. I like Darren. I like Darren. I've seen a lot of good content that Darren does, but you know, like helping people and stuff like that. And also, I appreciate a man with an organised office. Something else in the end of the week. 
something else of being the doctors and they're not sure but there's some test and they've got to do more you know just all that shit to keep you emotionally fucking charged you're all right over there Sam you need anything well it's getting cold over here in Africa now still any chance to have some blankets I feel like I want to go and look after all these kids again you know you sent me thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds he is funny though isn't he? pounds when I proclaimed that I was putting these welds in he went, he was attending places where a charity was already situated, already putting these wells in. He's just turning up and going, oh. How long has he been calling Sam Walker out for? I'm fitting wells. Oh, Mr. Cox, he'll probably pull the same stunts. I feel From organised crime to organised office. Hey, who says you can't do both? That, that's not something that I'm... Look, I'm not, I'm not promoting crime. But if you're going to do organised crime, have an organised office. That's all I'm saying. Right? It'll help. Surely. I feel like I've got to save more dogs. I've got to, I've got to save a giraffe. I've got to fucking... I, I've met this... I would love to break a giraffe out of a zip. Actually, no, that would be a real ball ache. They can kick really hard as well. The intrusive thoughts just, just fucking came out there, didn't they? They just... Who wants to go get a giraffe? I don't fucking... Like, <laughs> I don't know. Sam Walker, I'm up for it. Let's get a giraffe together. It's African Queen. It'd be like a fucking bromance rom-com thing, like a buddy film. I don't want to marry her, but I want the wedding to be a real expensive one. And she's got five kids as well, so I want, us to, I want to bring them back to the UK with me. Can you help me buy the tickets? Six... Like, can I buy a truck? You can't get a truck to fit a giraffe in, really, can you? months later oh she ran away with the money she weren't real they weren't even her kids i'm in a mess i feel depressed i can't get home can you have some money to get a ticket to get home so darren's not messing about obviously but neither sam is he so what a way you are talking oh i hear mr roadman what a legend Corey reacts to roadman and quickly changes his mind oh no i like this gentleman he said he didn't want to give me clout on YouTube yesterday. This fucker. Corey, could you point me in the direction of your YouTube channel, please? I don't think your little shitty content does very well on YouTube. I didn't need your clout. But there is a new YouTube video about this fucking weapon on there. I didn't even announce it, really. I just put a little post up on my story. That was it. I'll announce it now. There's a video all about what Corey Wilde did with all this fucking shit on my YouTube. Thank you, Corey. I need... Your cloud. Massively. Weird fucking man. Oh, this he is an absolute fucking weapon. Fuck around and find out. Should be tattooed on the fucker's forehead. Beautiful Sunday morning. I would like to talk to you all about cause and effect. That is oh, basically yeah, consequences to yeah. your actions. Now, I have been loving the Sam Walker. And if you see her videos, just fucking report them, man. She's obsessed. Faith story. And as we all know, that story took a tragic end in the last few days. But there was a particular creator who decided they thought okay. it was a good idea Love you. to go on and talk shit about Sam Walker's dog. It's funny, right, when they say that I spoke shit. I didn't, but... You did. We've seen the clips. Like... Go on. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go down. You can't deny what everybody has seen. Beautiful. And well, you can. Plenty do, to be fair. That is basically... I have been loving... We all know that story took a tragic ending. Of data here ...to go online and talk. Now, listen. I nah, well, Feisty has been reported, but, I mean, she's... Everyone can see how mental she is. She's doing a good job on her own. As a fellow dog lover, I felt this was beautiful. It's not like she's getting sentenced soon anyway for breach of non mall so that should be interesting. I haven't got a dog next door that I have had for the past three years. I'm sick to fucking death of trolls rolling around this app thinking Look that they face. can say and do what they want without any consequence. Well, it turns it's funny though, right? Because I'm the only one on the whole entire app, right, that have ever had bricks and all that thrown in the house. You're also the only fucking troll who's dumb enough to tell everyone your address. I mean, fucking hell. And literally tell somebody what are they going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, fucking hell, like... <laughs> if, you, 
if you say that, I mean, what the fuck are you expecting? Like, honestly? Jeez, and you're not the only troll to get a fucking slap, either. You're really not. But, you know, it's all poo with me, isn't it? I'm the one who said the least. Mad, really, isn't it? And now, you gobshitey little bastard, you just found out your consequences, right? And I am not going to stand there in any way, shape. It kind of looks like, um, I don't know, there was a fucking Thunderbird, like an evil Thunderbird who had fucking eyes that went like that, but never mind. And say the I can't remember, it's been a long time since I've seen the Thunderbirds. But. This is wrong, because I loved Faith, just like the rest of TikTok. So no Oh, for fuck's sake. Now, oh. this is you dealing with the cause and the effect. He's very patronising, isn't he? Say what you want. Say... Is he? Say what you want. Any man who is willing to do that shit for a dog is my... Thank you for the gifts there and the heart base. Thank you. My kind of guy. Ha 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 ha. Dickheads. He looks a bit upset about being called a dickhead, doesn't he? <laughs> I like this gentleman. He's very patronising, isn't he? And uh, the flip flop. Fabulous. Well, that was nice. Um, block, block. Oh, he's blocking him. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. Right, I don't care what. Mr. Hood, all oh, right, might be this. Oh, yeah, look at. Um, Young blood here. Anybody says about Britain's Got Talent, right? I'm going to talk to you about my experience yesterday. And I want everybody to tag Britain's Got Talent and everybody... Oh, actually, look, look. Please go check this video out. I've reposted it. There's just this weird noise in the background. Can you guys hear it? Every company that is involved with Britain... There's a weird noise in the background. And, um... Britain's Got Talent because uh, I don't feel like I was treated fairly and I'm concerned about the other people that wasn't treated fairly. I can't, like, I can't keep, yeah, I can't keep it going. Drives me insane. One more video, guys, and then I'm away. So make sure you're following me if you're enjoying this reaction. I said my last post would be my final. Oh, this is a bit of a fucking depressing... Oh, thank you for the reindeer antlers. This, this post is a bit of a depressing one, but unfortunately it is reality, what he's saying, and I definitely know that being part of the awareness community. Final one till 2025. But the truth is, it's probably going to be my last post completely. I keep saying I'm going to leave, and every time I'm convinced to stay, but I'm officially done. Awareness pages go above and beyond to make this app safer for others. And the fact is, nothing changes. The app's guidelines are pretty clear. Most of this app violates them, and nothing changes. If anything, the influx of violations and reports to the app has made it harder. Any child's it's fucking true though, safety it? page will tell you how many shares or messages we get a day. It can be anything around 20 to 100 some days. How many times do we report to not only TikTok, but to all the other... Notice, to be fair, is usually spot on, and I will miss him if he definitely does leave the app. Agencies, we are meant to, when a child is in danger on social media, and nothing changes. 500,000 online predators a day, and sometimes it takes months for us to remove one of them. And then most of the time, they're back on the app the month after. Yeah, they get like suspended sentences and shit, don't they? We've seen people charged and convicted and back on the app. Child safety isn't just about catching predators either. It's about protecting a child's innocence and not exposing them to certain environments. Every day on this app, children are able to watch discrimination, violence, and even SA be defended, normalized, and excused. People keep saying I'm uptight or I'm a snowflake. They are, in fact, correct. That is exactly what I am when it comes to... I hate when people fucking say that. Oh, we've hit 100k just before the end. Thank you, guys. Child safety. Always our little target. And the children's app. There is a difference in how we are meant to behave adult to adult compared to how we are meant to behave in the present. It is 100% getting worse, unfortunately. I know, of children. I know it's a fucking sad way to end the stream. 
When children are constantly using this app regardless of the time of day, no time is an appropriate time for what half of you say. Even if you think it's an adult-only room, people seem to say I don't understand people's humor and the thing is, I do have dark humor towards my own trauma. But there's a difference between using humor as a coping mechanism for your own experience and you using humor to wrongly mock someone else's like most of you. People say I don't understand being goaded into things. I understand it better than most. What I don't understand is how people actively join people constantly to battle knowing they'll argue and when it starts they do not attempt to leave, then say later they've been goaded. Merlin's not with me, Cloud Chasers with my son. Even goaded, in the most angry situations, racism, attacks on children or attacks on people's family isn't normal or justified. 100%. 100 fucking percent. Right, I'm going to have to fucking fuck off because talking about him, he's going to need his W-A-L-K. Um, right, thank you very much for hanging with me. Uh, his at is uh, i.noticed.u24. But he did say he's leaving the app. I hope he isn't because every, all of his videos have always been spot on. I'll be on Twitch tomorrow night at 7 o'clock doing reactions. Remember to tag the Fact Freak 2 in any videos you want me to react to. I'll just put that account in the chat there. So it's the one I've just pinned. Make sure you're following that account. Tag me in videos you want me to react to. I'm going to fucking fuck off. Have a great rest of your evening. You guys rule. Thanks for all the gifts, the comments, the taps of the screens and the support. Peace, guys. Peace.